Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White Selfishness cannot understand love. February 8th I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be like the Most High. Isaiah chapter 14 verses 13 and 14 At the birth of Jesus, Satan knew that one had come with a divine commission to dispute his dominion. He trembled at the angel's message attesting the authority of the newborn king. Satan well knew the position that Christ had held in heaven as the beloved of the Father. The Son of God should that the Son of God should come to to this earth was as a man filled him with amazement and apprehension. He could not fathom the mystery of this great sacrifice. His selfish soul could not understand such love for the deceived race. The glory and peace of heaven, the joy of communion with God, were but dimly comprehended by human beings, but they were well known to Lucifer, the covering cherub. Since he had lost heaven, he was determined to find revenge by causing others to share his fall. This he would do by causing them to undervalue heavenly things and to set their hearts upon earth. The image of God was manifest in Christ and in the counsels of Satan it was determined that he should be overcome. No man had, no human being had come into the world and escaped the power of the deceiver. The forces of confederacy of evil were set upon his tracks to to engage in warfare against him and, if possible, prevail over him. At the Saviour's baptism, Satan was among the witnesses. He saw the Father's glory overshadowing his Son. He heard the voice of Jehovah testifying to the divinity of Jesus. Ever since Adam sinned, the human race had been cut off from direct communion with God. The communication between heaven and earth had been through Christ. But now that Jesus had come in the likeness of sinful flesh, Romans chapter 8 verse 3, the Father himself spoke. He had before communicated with humanity through Christ. Now he communicated with humanity in Christ. Satan had hoped that God's abhorrence of evil would bring an an eternal separation between heaven and earth, but now it was manifest that the connection between God and humanity had been restored. Satan saw that he must either conquer or be conquered. The issue of the conflict involved too high. The issue of the conflict involved too much to be entrusted to his confederate angels. He must personally conduct the warfare. All the energies of apostasy were rallied against the Son of God. Christ was made the mark of every weapon of hell. Homeward Bound, 